Live from the world's capital markets, here are the financial headlines, brought to you by PU Prime. Hello and welcome to Wednesday's financial news. Stay with us for more market headlines. Oil prices settled more than 1% lower, the third straight day of losses, on worries of a slowing Chinese economy crimping demand. Though declines were stemmed by a growing consensus, the US Federal Reserve could begin cutting its key interest rate as soon as September. The global economy is set for modest growth over the next two years amid cooling activity in the US, a bottoming out in Europe and stronger consumption and exports for China. But risks to the path abound, the International Monetary Fund said. In three hours on July the 16th, Mt. Gox moved over 140,000 Bitcoin, worth almost $9 billion, to a known cold wallet and two unknown addresses. According to Arkham Intelligence data, Mt. Gox still holds 138,985 Bitcoin in its main wallet and has begun mobilizing funds held for the first time in two weeks. The dollar got a slight bump of 0.1% against the yen in the last session. The MACD is giving a negative signal. The Bitcoin dipped a slight 0.1% against the dollar in the last trading session. According to the Stochastic RSI, we are in an overbought market. The gold dollar pair skyrocketed 1.9% in the last session. According to the RSI, we are in an overbought market. The oil dollar pair dove 1.2% in the last session. The ROC is giving a negative signal. The UK's core consumer price index will be released at 6 GMT. The US industrial production at 1315 GMT. Japan's imports at 2350 GMT. The US housing starts will be released at 1230 GMT. The UK's consumer price index at 6 GMT. The Austrian HICP at 7 GMT. We hope you've enjoyed Wednesday's market outlook. On behalf of all of us here, we wish you a productive trading day. Be sure to join in tomorrow morning for the latest news and events from the financial market.